Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Wow, I sound like a commercial. So anyways, today I have for you guys my June favorites. So let's go ahead and get into those. I'm actually going to add a new thing like where I share with you guys like what scripture really stuck with me within that month and so let's go in order. So my favorite for the month of June is not just this particular one, but their entire line of these three in one primer waters from Wet n Wild. So right now I'm trying the coconut one. I tried the rose one already and I absolutely loved it. But this one, I think I like more than the coconut one. I know that they said that one's for like normal skin, dry skin and uh, oily skin. And I'm assuming that, I don't know, but I like this one more than I like the rose one. <laughs> And usually anything coconut is for dry skin, so we can see. One thing that I actually didn't like, or that I realized, is what I don't like about my makeup on most days is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It actually does nothing for my skin or nothing for my pores. I guess my skin is just one where if you make sure you hydrate your pores, like they look smaller with makeup. But every time I use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I feel like it actually, ins like, I don't I, I know I'm gonna pronounce that word wrong so like I just like it made my pores stand out more like they were more noticeable and so I didn't I'm giving this one away because it didn't work for me very good or I thought it, it thought it worked for me until I realized when I didn't use it I liked my makeup more and now I realize that I don't like it Primer that I have fallen in love with is this Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer from First Aid Beauty. It's just like a moisturizer whenever it goes on. It's very, very similar to the Ulta Beauty Hydrating Primer, but I just like this one a little bit more. I feel like this one actually does fill in, help fill in your pores, and my skin just drinks it up and loves it, and my makeup applies it beautifully on top of it. So if you have dry skin like me, you might actually really, really like this. A concealer that the more that I've played with, the more that I have fallen in love with it, um, is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Um, this is something that you kind of really have to work with and finagle with a little bit just to kind of see how you can get it to work for you. And I noticed that applying it and blending it out in sections is what works best for me. And then I do go in immediately or close to immediately after I blend it out and I set it down. And what I've been setting it with lately that I really, really love is this powder that I got in my Ipsy bag and this was a this was the Bella Pierre banana setting powder this is the powder that I have been loving to set my face it actually it gives your face like this veil like it just makes your skin look so 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 smooth and I have like zero complaints about it um the only thing I can say is for my skin anyways and this is with any powder but for my skin when I use too much of this um it my skin starts to look very 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 powdery so for my brows I've been loving this Revlon color stay brow pencil now it's not a precise brow pencil but that's kind of what but that is kind of what I like about it I like that it's kind of thick and it's kind of waxy it almost reminds me of a pomade but in stick form and I'm still very I, it's still easy to get that like that precise like tail end of your brow with this but I like it because it kind of helps lay the brow hairs down as well as fill them in and it's not too intense like I could go in very very light-handed and get a more natural brow or I can build it up and get a more dramatic brow and that's what I like about this and this is actually really pretty like really affordable I'll try to insert the price on the screen as well as I will try to link things down below and so another thing is this, um, another thing from Revlon, which I've just, I've been discovering a lot of things from Revlon just because I always find coupons for them in the mail and you end up paying like $4 for stuff that's $9, $10, like you end up getting their products really, really cheap. And so this is their lip liners are actually really, really good. I noticed that whenever I use these, it doesn't budge my makeup, my lipstick's not coming outside of the lines. And the lip combo that I have on today is this Revlon lip line, liner in nude. And another favorite is my Bare Minerals um, Brilliant Gloss. And this one's in the shade Cosmic, but I love this gloss formula. It's very, like it's not <laughs> sticky, but it's very glossy and shiny. And so I actually really, really like this gloss formula. 
I've been trying out a lot of glosses this summer like I'm just living for a glossy lip this summer which is something that I don't typically like but I'm starting to love um and this is this is so far the best one that I have found and that's um not super sticky an oldie but a goodie that I found out that I found out that I have fallen back in love with is my Monsieur Big Mascara and I just love the way it makes your lashes look like I'm wearing it today. You don't need false lashes when you need this mascara. So if you're somebody that wants the false lash, false lash effect without having to apply the falsies or struggle with them, or maybe you're not good at applying with them, or you just don't have the time to apply them, I highly recommend that mascara. I mean, if you look at my eyelashes like they're there, they're va va voom. Like I love it, and it doesn't get like I applied it two coats on top, and it doesn't look clumpy. They just look nice, voluminous, and long, and so I and separated. Another mascara that's very similar to the other one is this Focalore Balm Lashes Mascara. And these are actually about the same price, so I mean, it's just up to you. The only thing I will say about this one is that this one does tend to run. But before it starts running or sticking or just getting all over the place is, is it looks very, very similar to what I have right now. And this is what the wand to this one looks like. It's like a very big traditional wand. And yeah, I actually really like this mascara. Like I said, it's just the longer you wear it, the higher of a chance you have of it running. So if you if you have a long work day, I wouldn't really. Another lip product are these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lips. These will not go anywhere. Like you are gonna have to let this wear off by itself or use an oil in order to take these off. And I like these, they're very, very pigmented. They smell good. They, they remind me of like, like lip, lip smackers. Like that's what the smell reminds me of. I like the doe foot. It makes it easy, especially since I have like a very deep cupid's bow. It makes it easy for me to go right in and apply that. And so I actually really do like this line. I should get more liquid lipstick from that because it's, b b should get more liquid lipsticks from this line because they really don't cost that much. Okay, a couple of highlighting palettes I liked, and I picked both of these because these are actually pretty similar. Um, I am missing one shade out of the Anastasia one, but it was given to me. But, I mean, I don't know what this shade looks like. It's the Sugar Palette from Anastasia and then the Light Highlighting Palette from Makeup Revolution. And you can just see how similar these palettes are. I really, really like the both of them. If I had to pick just one, I honestly would go with the Makeup Revolution one. This one is $25, and I believe this one ranges for about $40. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this one's $15. And so... Yeah, these are actually my favorite highlighting palettes, though. I just thought that I'd show them both because since I like them both so much, um, this one is a little bit cheaper than this one. But they're both very good quality, very blinding highlights, very, very beautiful. These, like, I have discovered my favorite eyeshadow line. Now, I still have one more high-end palette to try, but for high-end eyeshadows, um, I would have to say that this line right here, no, these honest, these ABH palettes that look like this, have got to be my favorite formula of eyeshadows, how well they blend. You do get a little more kickback in these, <coughs> but they're very, very beautiful. And I really, I really like the way that they blend. They're easy to blend for me, at least these two that I've tried so far. Very easy to blend, The they're pigmented so you don't have to pack a lot on. I haven't really paid, played too much with the shimmers in either one, but I know that the mattes are gorgeous, easy to blend, they're pigmented. That's, they, they actually inspired me to do this all matte look today, which this look should um, be up on my channel very, very soon. And so you guys. Um, and the last but not least is this Wet n Wild sponge. I always forget how flawless this sponge can make your makeup look. And this is cheaper than all the other sponges you'll find at the drugstore. I believe that I found this one for four, three to four dollars. And it is not bad at all. I actually really love it. And I like that it has like this little, like, this side reminds me of iron. So I call it my like flattening sign, like iron out them lines, girl. And so like, that's what I think of it as. And I really like that sponge. And my favorite scripture for the month of um june was colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 17. therefore as the elect of god holy and beloved put on the tender mercies put on put on tender mercies kindness humility meekness long suffering 
bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone, ha if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in, in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And so, yeah, I just really like that. I think it breaks down of just we're all supposed to be one body. It doesn't matter what church you go to as long as we're all doing the same walk with Christ and following his word completely. And so, yeah, that is my favorite scripture for the month of June. And so that is it for my favorites for June, you guys. I love you guys. So always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my Bye. next video. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And of course, I really, really need you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Bye.